all issues of information technology and, uh, and world peace. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, he knows how to beat an incumbent because the, the man he replaced uh, was a 17 year incumbent, so it should be no problem replacing a two year incumbent. No <laughs> so, with that, I am honored to introduce Pat Price. All right. This turnout is, is a, a very welcome treat, a great way to wrap up the day. And, and thank you, everybody, for taking a little time to come out and, and say hi, uh, especially some old friends that have already made here in the campaign, but especially new folks who came in to see just what, what is this all about. What this is all about is helping to improve a Congress that right now is throwing sand in the gears of economic recovery. Our recovery is stuck in a rut right now. We have got a country that wants to get back to work. We have people that want to get back to work. And yes, there are actually entrepreneurs and investors who want to get back to work, put money to work, and put people to work. But they can't, so long as we have leadership right now that is stifling any movement toward a jobs agenda, and that is only interested in protecting their privileged friends at the very top, and leaving the other 99% of the country to wonder who's going to show the leadership in making sure that we have a budget that is efficient, but also makes the strategic investments in manufacturing, in agriculture, in research and development, in education, in worker retraining, the things that we all have to do together to get <coughs> more than 20 million people who are unemployed or underemployed back on the job. And instead, they're stuck on the usual social issues, wedge issues, and the straw man arguments as if somehow people are against success and against profit. We're not. We're for working hard, we're for succeeding, but we're also for playing by the same set of rules, everybody. A fair set of rules, shared sacrifice, as well as shared opportunity and shared prosperity. These are things that you should be working for, whether there's a D or an R next to your name in the halls of Congress. But right now, this Congress is stuck, and Sean Duffy has not done anything to show that he is going to do anything but walk in the shadows of Paul Ryan and the rest of the Tea Party, protect the people at the very top, threaten Medicare and Social Security, and not put forward anything that gives us job opportunities, health care security, and education for your kids and for my grandsons. These are things that we can do together. There are plenty of good nonpartisan, bipartisan ideas out there. All we need is the will to sit down together and make these things happen. These are things that I did as a state legislator for four years. The vast majority of my bills were passed on bipartisan votes because I believe in an open door and an open mind. No one person and no one party has all the answers. You've got to be willing to talk to anybody, incorporate some of their ideas, make people feel like they're part of the process together, because we all are. We all have to work together in our work sites or in our schools. We cooperate, we collaborate, we compromise, but we move forward. This Congress is not moving at all. And in a hyper-competitive global economy, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backward. And our country risks moving backward in its graduation rates, in its math and science scores, in its opportunities for people to move from the working poor to the middle class, or the middle class into something more prosperous. Something we all want to do if we're only given the opportunity. Nobody's looking to have an outcome handed to them. They want an opportunity handed to them. It's what I got to do as a kid who came from a poor family. All my parents could give me was a work ethic. Study hard. Work hard. And you can be the first in your family to graduate college, the first in your family to achieve the things that you set for yourself. But you can't have a better job or opportunity if those opportunities are being closed by cutting back on worker retraining at tech colleges, by cutting back on educational opportunities like financial aid for college. You can't have the opportunity for better jobs if your tax code rewards those who outsource jobs out of our country rather than provide incentives for putting money back to work for American jobs and American factories. 
in American workplaces throughout our country. So I want to fight for those things. I want to fight for those who want to work hard and who simply want opportunity to make dreams come true. But it can't happen with the current bunch in Washington. So I'm going to need your help getting there. Now there's a lot of talk about things that are going on in the short term in Wisconsin politics. Those are good, those are good and worthy things. And I'm glad you're fighting for them. It's going to be a good season for them. But beyond the, the state politics, I really need you to be thinking of the 7th Congressional District, especially those of you who are new to it. And if you don't know, because of redistricting, I want to say again, all of Langley, all of Lincoln, all of Lawrence, all of Forest, all of Oneida, and all of Vilas are now in the new 7th District. There's a lot of people from around the country and around the state are going to follow the recalls of things. But we in the 7th District are the only ones who can and should care first and foremost about changing who represents us in the 7th Congressional District in the House of Representatives. We have the best Democratic pickup opportunity of all the seats around Wisconsin. We can take back our 7th District. We can put it back into the same responsible set of values that Dave Obey gave it for 42 years. I'm very proud to be working with him and a whole lot of other good people from Herb Cole and Tammy Baldwin on down throughout all the people that I work with in the legislature. They're watching this race. They want to know that people care about this race, that they're willing to donate. They're willing to give their time and they're willing to spread the word. So for those of you to take some time out on a weeknight and come here and meet with me today and ask me your questions or give me your suggestions, tells me that we're right to tell everybody else around the state, back in Washington, watch this race. We are going to put everything we can into it. We're going to take the seat back in November and be proud of what represents us in Congress once again. Thank you very much for being here.